Fidget spinners. They want you to believe that they were made in 1996 from a small town woman trying to impress her kid. Wrong. The UN, the United Nations are hypnotizing us. So what they don't want us to know? When people were born, if they were born in the 2000s or onwards, that when we were in the nursery, the doctors would implant chips into our frontal lobe. The UN decided that it would be a great idea to make fidget spinners a way of updating that chip in our head. One day, I bumped my head onto the cement by tripping on a rock, and I thought I had a tumor, but then I realized just maybe it was a chip by the, the UN. Everyone has that feeling that they were brainwashed by the government, but this was real. My mima got me this fidget spinner, and then once I started spinning it this way, I don't know, I could feel the update or like some kind of vibration in my head. And who knows, it could be a tumor. I am, I, I would bet my life savings on saying that it was a brain chip. And I know that this thing is updating my chip in my brain. You may be asking, oh, I never used this fidget spinner. Well, yeah, like for example, a hurricane like was passing through your town or something. So that's just one big circular thing. That means it's a fidget spinner. I know this stuff. I'm a very important person. I, I got a PhD in brains. The public is getting sucked into the UN zeitgeist. It's a chip man. It, it's all about the government, and I'm gonna start a Kickstarter for to tell the government that um, we don't need no brain chips, and they want us to spin. Let me tell you something: if you spin the opposite direction of what you've been spinning in, like I, I've been spinning this direction, this direction. If you spin this, if you spin the opposite opposite direction it'll reverse to its original state. You see this, no more. Now this. So, anime. All right, so uh, I got this theory about anime. Uh, uh, let's just get going, huh? People love anime, so the Japanese government is collecting data from anime fans to figure out what traits would be useful in making a perfect robot. Watching anime will help people get comfortable with the idea of robots. Japan plans to create and distribute robots to the American people and use them to conquer them as revenge for no Hiroshima. Some Americans have caught on Japan as have come to a Japan as dude and tried to make horrible movies to stop them, but it hasn't really worked out for them. Uh, Japan's been keeping a lot of things secret, experimenting with robots. Ha they also have a shaky relationship with, with the USA, and more people have expressed attraction to anime characters, which is odd, but I'm not gonna judge. And anime has also become pretty popular, so uh, it appears that their plan might be working. Uh, <laughs> not exactly hyped about this invasion, but uh, eh, I can just travel back in time.
if an octopus and a rhino walked into to a Taco Bell. An octopus can't walk into a Taco Bell. Hmm. That's this is seriously. Where did you get that idea from? Is this some sort of joke or something? The the way my mind works is a mystery to many, including myself. That was so random. But anyways, when is Brian gonna be back? Mm -hmm. uh, He's been gone forever. Yeah. Mm. Maybe we need to. We need, maybe we need to go find him. Maybe he's in trouble. Yeah, he normally doesn't take this long. Yeah, we should save him. Hope you had a nice day today. Anyway, we're going to be doing some math equations. Those who do not complete these questions will be homework for everyone. So, who would like to feel free to come up to answer them all? Come on, don't be afraid. I don't have time to mark them. Anyone? <sighs> well, that's fine. <laughs> Show me what you got, you're not in a rush. So, the next time, if at home, 
You have to be studying or you'll be in for a treat in my office. Ooh, <laughs> more hell. I'll be looking forward to our little visit then. <laughs> See you around. Oh gosh, what a day I had. Something to try to keep things from happening, to try to to escape. Oof. I miss mystery. It has been wonderful teaching you class this year, but anyways, I have to go on summer vacation to uh. Disneyland whenever my mind desires. Oh wait, but anyways, before I go, I would like to introduce you to a wonderful teacher. Someone who has never been to this school before, but has been for the very first time in our lives. So ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the one and only Miss Tori! Please.